Hey friends, welcome to Kongu Radiographer channel. Today's topic is about Xylography. Indications 1. Calculi 2. Chronic Inflammatory Discase 3. Mass Lesion 4. Obstructive Lesion 5. Penetrating Trauma 6. Strictures 7. Fistula 8. Prior to CT Evaluation of Salivary Glands Contra Indications 1. Allergy to Iodine 2. Acute Cyanodenitis Equipment 1. Contrast medium Water soluble Ionic contrast Media like Trio video 280 Conray 280 Or Non ionic Contrast medium Such as Omnipiki 350 2. Lacrimal Cannula Or disposable 22 G Gelco Then flon Equipment Third Lacrimal Dilator Librix Double ended Lacrimal probe Fourth 2 cc syringe 4 grades 0 0 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 0 0 0 and half are required for xylography outer diameter of cannula 1.02 m m rabinov xylography catheter obtainable in a sterile pack and is recommended fifth lemon vitamin c tablet procedure preliminary radiograph plain radiograph should be taken before embarking on xylography because a considerable pathology is associated with opaque calculi within the glands themselves or their ducts particularly in the submandibular gland procedure locating duct openings a parotid duct opens opposite second upper molar tooth on the buccal surface of the cheek b submandibular duct opens at the base of the frenulum of the tongue c in case the ostium is not visible apply pressure on the gland or give silogog like line then saliva will be seen pouring through the punctum 3 dilate the punctum with lacrimal diluter film exposure positioning for parotids 1 frontal view is taken with face rotated 5 to 10 degrees towards the side study 2 lateral view is taken with 15 to 20 degrees cranial tube tilt film exposure positioning for submandibular gland first lateral view is taken with 15 to 20 degrees cranial tube tilt films are taken during injection second the catheter is left in place till the adequacy of films is ensured Technique. There are two techniques for cannulating the ducts. I by using a intricate technique, b lacrimal cannula technique. Technique. Two. If we are using an intricate, we should cut enough plastic tubing from the lip of intricate with fine scissors such that two meters m of the inner wire stilette is still protruding now the punctum is cannulated for 5 meters m now withdraw the stilette such that it no longer protrudes the outer tube technique 3 the inner stilette produces stiffness during introduction of catheter the stilette 
is removed and outer tube is attached to polythene tube for now the contrast is injected technique 5 in the lacrimal cannula method contrast is injected into the cannula which is introduced through the duct opening 6 contrast is injected till the patient complains of pain by a pre-range signal 7 about 0.5 to 1.0 C C of contrast is required after care none if cyanidinitis occurs after the procedure it should be treated with antibiotic I C S and anti inflammatory drugs complications 1 cyanidinitis and abscess 2 stricture of the ducts disadvantages of cyanography 1 misses less than 1 cm may not be detected 2 contrast does not always penetrate the deep lobe of parotid gland For more radiographer information, subscribe my channel, like, share, comment.